All right, welcome again to the Football Cave. And here is another video on our sale concept, which is probably our most commonly called concept. It's good against any coverage. One thing we're gonna go over in this video are what we teach our quarterback in sale, okay? So one of the things that I believe in for quarterbacks is to keep things as simple as possible, keep as many drops as consistent as possible. So I know some people want a quick one step, a quick two, sometimes a quick three, a long three, a five, it's, it's too much. Okay, at least for our kids. So what I like to do in terms of teaching the quarterback is I just want a long three on almost every concept. And that's why we have our built in hots here, even on our quick game. Okay, so if we have to extend our routes, you know, one yard deeper, we will, but it's a long three, but he wants to move quickly. Okay, and he wants to throw on his third step. So nothing changes on sale. All right. And the quarterback will always have his front shoulder. So whether that's the left shoulder if he's right-handed or right shoulder if he's left-handed, okay? He wants to have his shoulder slightly open, okay? And always ready to throw to the back side, or it could be the concept side if the concept is to the left. But either way, I want him to the left. That way it's an easy throw and he's never across his body. So if he has to look back side, fine. If he wants to throw a front side, all he's got to do is pivot his back foot, okay? But either way, he wants to take three long steps, right? And he wants to be fast with it. And then on his third step, he's going to stop. He's going to hitch in the ground. If nothing's open yet, he can hitch up, right? So we don't have rules where ball has to be out on the third step. We'd like it to be. That would be ideal. But things change, right? It's football. So obviously, if he's getting blitzed, then the ball will be out on the third step. And depending on which side, if he's getting blitzed from this side, you always want to throw the shoot route so we have flat control. If he's blitzed from the jack backer or the corner, he's going to run. He's going to throw the replace route, okay? So... What's the quarterback looking at, right? Well, he's gonna look obviously to the concept side. So this would be 60 sale, right? And we always wanna throw the flat until we can't, right? Flat till we can't, flat till we can't, then we can hit the touchdown later, okay? Especially on sale. So he's gonna read the flat defender first. He's gonna look flat defender, okay, to safety, right? And so he's gonna look inside, right? So what's the flat defender doing? Does he bail with number two? If he bails with number two, throw the flat, okay? Obviously, get your eyes over to the corner when you're ready to throw the flat, so that way in case it's cover two, okay, and then he's going to look to this defender. If it's single high, then he's going to look, Sam, to corner. We're not worried about that safety at all if it's one high. This is obviously versus a two high look, which again is what we see uh, a, a ton of out here, all right? We see a ton of two high and a ton of man, so again, if it's, if it's man coverage, obviously the read's easy, just you know, first guy that comes open off of your third step. Again, ideally we want to hit the flat. Okay. And then again, he's reading Sam to safety, right? So as he looks at the Sam, right? The flat defender. Okay. He, he jumped the flat. Okay. Now I look safety to corner. So my eyes are still there, right? I don't have it. Okay. Now I come back side to the dig, right? So we go long three short to deep. Okay, nothing there. Get the time clock in your head and rip the backside dig. All right, so that's basically our read. Generally, the corner is gonna, the corner will tell you whether or not to throw the post. Okay, if he's just bailing and getting out of there, right, then obviously we wanna throw the intermediate route. Okay, and generally, most of the time, that safety is obviously not gonna cheat over to the corner route um, unless it's pure cover two, which we don't see a lot of. Okay, we see a lot of two read and we see a lot of uh, quarters coverage. Okay, so that's just basically what to teach the quarterback, Sam, to safety, the backside, and then throw it, always long three. One thing with alignment, okay, with the quarterback, I like him at four yards. Okay, we're a heavy pistol team, all right, and a lot of people like him at five. I like him at four because the runs hit quicker. It's a little bit more like an under center drop at times a little bit better with the passing game. Obviously, there's a million ways to skin a cat, but I like him at four, toes at four yards, running back about two yards behind, usually at about six to five and a half to six. Again, for quick runs, we go over that. But, um, you know, and the linemen, we'll go over that later. But again, we do like a little bit wider splits, okay, three to four feet. Um, and again, that way the quarterback is always back at seven or eight yards. We don't want him too deep. We don't want him in nine or 10. That shallows out the angle for the pass rushers, okay? So again, there's kind of what we teach the quarterback in sale and most of our passing game. 